Hi all, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another crafting tutorial. And in this one today, I'm continuing my sci-fi colony build with this communications tower. And you can even move the satellite dish. Now, very easy to do. I basically just jumped into a box full of random junk and I came up with this. So without further ado, I'm gonna take you to the crafting table and let's do this. Come on. All right, friends, let's get building. So I took this uh, box from a PlayStation controller and this is a piece of a large foldable storage box, uh, something of an old hamster cage and some random junk. I keep a lot of this crap. This is from a toilet roll, a uh, chewing box gum, a coffee lid, an old webcam, which will be the base for my satellite so I can move it around. And of course, a PVC pipe and some paper drinking straws, floral wire, studs, wooden spool. Now, first I'm gonna do is uh, cut a piece of this uh, hamster uh, stairs. And quickly I realized that the hacksaw doesn't really cut it. So I'm just gonna score it deeply with a knife and then snap it. I'm uh, first gonna glue the back of this box, to close it up score some uh, because the plastic is rather smooth so i'm scoring some lines on it hot glue that on the back and that's my back wall all right now i'm gonna glue my foldable box panel uh, for a bridge piece so i'm marking out where i'm gonna put the hot glue and then i'm simply going to attach it so we have a cool bridge. Now this empty pot of chewing gum is a nice size that will be glued underneath, like so. so. Now I really didn't have a plan when making this. Just grab some random junk. Here I'm gluing the PVC pipe at the back. Now I have this uh, nice thing here and I'm gonna put hot glue and I'm here putting it on on the wrong side. We have a thicker piece and that will be inserted inside of the PVC pipe. So use the thin side of this and I'm basically just going to wrap it around the chewing bottle, chewing gum bottle for some cabling, thick cabling, paneling, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Something you might know that my crafts don't always make sense, but they look cool. So I'm happy with that. Now a coffee lid here at the back of the pipe. And as I said, I really didn't have a plan, just grabbed some random junk and see what, and threw it all together. Now a coffee filter cap, a toilet plastic roll and an old webcam is what I will be using to build my satellite dish. So I'm gonna glue the lid on the camera, the front here. Make sure it's nicely in the middle, looking cool. Now this uh, EVA foam circle in the center here, just for a little bit more detail. And this uh, spray can bottle cap, I will be gluing onto this toilet roll in the back. So to get some better adhesive and glue that nicely in the center. And voila, we have a satellite dish. Now take a square cardboard piece that is five centimeters by seven centimeters and attach uh, the webcam on top of it, just for better adhesive. Now I'm gonna stick that here in the back. And here we have a posable satellite dish. I'm gonna glue on some wooden blocks and a chimney and another vent for more details to the, well, to the communications uh, base building. The chimney. Here I'm uh, attaching this to a milk cap and I'm gonna add in another cap here for better adhesive and attach this to the side. I'm gonna hot glue a one centimeter wide cardstock strip at the bottom. It just adds a little bit more detail to the and 3D elements to the building. Cool. Now I do realize not everybody uh, will have the same pieces that I'm using here, but just jump into your into your junk junk box and uh, yeah, you will be amazed at whatever you will can find out. Now cut two cardstock strips, four centimeters by five centimeters, and one of these I'm gonna cut away the middle section, leaving only a half a centimeter, and this will be for my door frame. I'm cutting this away. This will be the door frame. 
I'm slicing it through the middle and adding some vent details just to add more 3D elements to my simple yet effective door. Attaching this with white glue. It's easier for the cardstock. Attaching the back with the white glue as well and stick that on wherever you want your door to be. Now I'm gonna uh, attach more uh, of these uh, centimeter cardstock strips to uh, continue the, the frame at the bottom. Like so. And I will be making other things in my sci-fi range as well, but I really wanted the communications tower and now I have one. Well, a communication station, sorry. <laughs> now next I'm gonna glue some paper drinking straws to uh, create some pipes. I'm gonna attach that all over the place, wherever I want them to be. Some on the building, some on the chewing gum pot. Creating a nice frame. It doesn't have to make sense, just has to look cool. If you want it to make sense, well, then you have to do some uh, research on how that works. Now uh, some corrugated paper for a garage door and some window shutters. Again, doesn't have to make sense, just gotta look cool. Now I'm attaching a, a one centimeter frame around this uh, garage door. And I also glued a ladder that I made out of chicken wire and uh, some more thicker drinking straws and attached some wires for cablings running in the back of the satellite. This is the ladder, a valve, uh, a mosaic tile for uh, paneling. Yeah, cool. Here are the wires attached, the studs at the top and look, the satellite I inserted the uh, <clears throat> a barbecue skewer to make the tip longer. Some nice looking building so far and fits the setting of my sci-fi. All right, painting time. Spray it all black, overspray with a gray primer and zenithal spray with silver or white. And I basically did both. And at this point, I'm painting it to match the rest of my colony. So check out my previous videos if you haven't, but feel free to paint it as you guys see fit, of course. All right, painting the pipes with a red here. Another pipe I'm doing with black. This one also red. Painting the ladder red. I'm painting it black. Some blue around the frames of the door. As I said, here I'm cutting some um, hazard stripes, attaching it with white glue. Painting this pipe black here as well. Basically just match it up with the rest of my setting and I'm stippling brown all over to weather it and Here it is with the rest of my colony terrain. So let's have a look at that Let's first have a look at the building and I'm actually for a very very quick build I did this in less than a day painting and all so uh, it really matches my setting as you can see here It's a cool looking building and in case some of you are wondering, yes, this is also the setup for my first episode episode, sorry, of Season 2 Grimdark Future for One Page Rules. And as you can see, the communications uh, station works really well with the rest of the buildings we built in the previous episode. So if you haven't seen those, have a look and go and check them out. All right. So thank you all very much for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell notification for more future videos. All right. Thank you all very much, guys, for uh, helping me reach 4,000 plus subscribers. I really appreciate all of you and more videos to come soon. All right. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching and bye for now. Bye.